Some of you may have noticed there are currently two top 100 teams for the final boss right now. You have Angels and we have Unknowns. So we're going to talk about Unknowns right now. So it's Freya, Echidna, Ram, and Nanashi. They all need to be on HP defense and C for the top row because the trio is extremely squishy. If we have normal gears, we're going to kill them way too fast. I also don't have UR gear for Freya, so we do have a borrowed set. And you can, if you want, if you're running into a damage problem, you're dealing too much damage or killing too soon, you can take off the weapons. Uh, I, however, did not do that. It's a little bit too much for me to deal with. And okay, this should be the same situation. I just have crit damage made already for her. Not a regular defense set, but the defense isn't going to play too much of a factor in score. Again, C gear in the top row. Weapons removed optional. Ram, same thing. Uh, Nanashi doesn't matter because he's in the back, so he can have his full UR set with his weapons equipped. Uh, the associations are going to have to be best HP links, so that's what we got here. The artifact set is going to be the unknown set, which is boosting HP related stats of everyone on the team. HP food, because again, HP has the biggest factor, or is the biggest factor for points. Uh, in terms of these missions, we're not going to be able to hit 1 and 3, we should be able to hit 2 and 4, and then the last thing is there are currently the, the uh, what is it, Demon King Dignity buffs, make sure you don't grab the attack buff, but you grab the HP buff, so let's jump into it. For the first phase, we're probably going to look for a 3 turn finish, we're just going to transition after they buff up, and we get our rupture points, so... For the opening turn, I'm gonna double Echidna, and then we can fray or single target Taizu, because he is the tankiest. Try to whittle them all down a bit. They're already almost half HP, as you can see, they are extremely squishy. Opening hand was pretty strong. We got a stance cancel merge, and we have a second rupture, which means we can already finish the rupture mission. And we are halfway to all three stance cancels, because the ram stun is also going to count, so don't have a lot of wiggle room in terms of card draw, so we can use the echidna AoE, um, just gonna move the ram around. Hopefully we get, um, it really doesn't matter what we get here, uh, we can stall for stance cancels. Ooh, we got a third rupture, that's actually huge. Uh, I think rupture gives you extra points, I'm not sure how many points it is. Obviously, it's a mission already. I think it. I think it gives you something. I'm not sure here. Um, so they're gonna buff up. Twigo's gonna do what? Basic stat buff? Yeah, and debuff immunity. That's crazy. We're gonna triple rupture because that's the best way that we can kill it because it's our only AOE. Ooh, it's plus ten. So it's plus thirty per. Ooh, and they tank all three. That's perfect. All right, that's actually a huge chunk of points. So it's gonna be three turns for the first phase. We're going to come to the second phase. We need to uh, scoop up some stance cancels. So um, I'm not going to attack like at all. If you didn't remove the weapons, you definitely don't want to attack here because the stance cancels have a good chance of mm, one-shotting. So don't want to do that. I'm uh, going to try to uh, not get Freya old as I merge here. I think there's a get a kidnap out of the way. I uh, can't move Ram, she's one away. We get a kid out of the way, and then we can do a double merge. Yeah, there we go. Um, like I said, I don't want to attack. I don't really want to burn anything. Could just lock. Everyone's one away. Uh, the most important ult is going to be Echidna. She does have a basic stat buff for unknowns, so if we can finish with that active, that'll be extra points. Doing a great job patiencing everything. Freyer's taking a little bit of damage. Got some golds. Okay, we're not patiencing that. Okay, so Wiggle Room is looking like nothing. They are stancing next turn. We have two stance cancels. We are one card away from doing one of them. So I think we're going to stall an extra couple turns here. It's probably best if we at least chuck something out there. We are gonna pull Ram ults. No, Akina's full gauge. Actually, we'll get Akina, so that's fine. We want that, and then we'll just double lock. Cause not really a lot we can do here. So once they stance, 
Uh, we can at least double stance cancel. And then probably do nothing. Stall for a another frayer single target. How many extras is that? Two, four, six? That's a lot. That's pretty decent RNG so far. Um, since Taizu already took damage, we're going to skip him. And we're going to hit Twigo and Wylo. And we'll lock here. Look at that. It crits on every attack and he's below half HP, so... Definitely removing uh, the weapons is a, is a decent... Ooh, we got it. Decent, um... What am I trying to say? Decent tactic? Decent, uh... Decent way to go? I don't know. Doesn't matter. As you can see, just don't attack. Only attack with stance cancels. So we'll merge with the stance cancel, and then Echidna's gonna nuke. Because she'll have, uh... She'll have some attack buffs. Plus the Freyr all stat buff. So this is looking like a turn 7 finish. We're gonna merge the stance cancel. We're gonna remove... What is it? Taizu? Uh, and then Echidna ult. I don't think you need a very high Echidna ult. She has too many buffs. Yeah, at 4.3 mil is absurd. Um, so that's gonna be... That's gonna be the run. I think that was pretty decent. Let's take a look at the score. I think we got the missions we needed to get. I, that felt pretty good, especially the triple rupture. Okay, 6k. I think 6k is top 100, so uh, I think that's going to be good enough for this team. Let me go ahead and check the leaderboards here. Alright, so 6.066 or 6 whatever. Uh, top 0.01% is what it, the claim is. Uh, does it tell me my exact? Oh, it does. Okay, so we're rank 10 currently, so I think that's pretty good. Uh, and then, like I said before, there's this angel team we might test. See, uh, see what the difference is going on there. But that's going to be the Final Boss Trio Top 100 so far. If you guys liked it, drop a thumb. Maybe sub if you're into that. I'll see you in the next one.